Minecraft PvPers are such an interesting species of people. The Minecraft community in even the early days was somehow able to birth a PvP community with a larger ego than Black Ops players on Xbox Live in 2012. And yet, despite the younger targeted audience, Minecraft PvP is possibly one of the most overly complicated games in the PvP community to this day. No, no really, give me a penny for every style of bridging that there is and I'll have enough to buy out the entire Hypixel store. It's easy to get caught up in Minecraft PvP skill because of how objective it is. A new player might be watching Technoblade's perspective during Minecraft Monday and think, oh, well this guy's getting a lot of kills and seems to be winning, so therefore he must be one of the best players out there. But if you showed the same footage to an old member of the Kohi Badline community, they would punch you in the face and lecture you on how to W tap. Regardless of skill, the same questions are always asked whenever a Minecraft PvP event takes place. Who is probably going to win? Which YouTuber is the best PvPer? And of course, the crown jewel, the most asked question of all Minecraft PvPers, how good am I at PvP? Now, a normal person would realize that PvP skill is subjective and all players are good at different things, but this is the Minecraft PvP community we're talking about, and of course, the easiest way to assess Minecraft skill is through PvP duels. They seem short and sweet. You just join Hypixel one day and wonder, hey, how good at PvP am I? So you look around in the compass and your mouse stops over a certain fishing rod in the middle of the screen. Duels, it reads. At that point, you click on the duels icon to check it out, and that decision snowballs into an eternity of chaos and mental destruction, biting away at you like a leech to the pelvis or a swarm of piranhas gnawing on your leg. Welcome to Hypixel Duels. The sheer number of Minecraft servers with a one-on-one -on -one arena game mode like Hypixel Duels is probably more than double my subscriber count. Now, now granted, that isn't saying much, so if you could like subscribe, that'd be nice. The thing about Duels is that it's easy to understand and addicting for long periods of gameplay, so it's obvious that a server as tremendous as Hypixel would need to have one. And overall, Hypixel Duels isn't actually too bad for the most popular Minecraft server. The only downside is that the combination of multi-version 1.8 style PvP, an anti-cheat worse than a literal potato, and occasional bursts of lag waters down the old Badline Arena days into a modern, deformed Hypixel experience. The Duels lobby itself greets you with a wide array of NPCs of almost every color of the rainbow right next to the leaderboards where the top 10 players of each category can flex on the two people who actually care. Oh, sorry, did I say two? That was a typo. I meant to say zero. Damn it, stupid autocorrect. It also features a literal PvP arena in case you're such a bloodthirsty, impatient maniac that is so hungry for kills that you need to murder the players in the outside lobby before you play the actual game mode. That's like if I brought a nerf gun to a game of laser tag and shot it at the people in the arcade as a warm-up and for target practice. Choosing the right game of duels for you may seem difficult for a new player, so let's just go down the list. UHC Duels. This is most likely the game mode that one non in chat is talking about when they're asking if anyone wants to duel. It's just build UHC, but on high pixel. The only real difference is that golden heads are instant eat, which is both a blessing and a curse. All right, this fight's looking pretty close. I'm actually pretty low, so I'm gonna go go ahead and head here, and he's gonna head as well. All right, but I'm getting him low. I'm getting him low. He's at he's at one. He's at one. He's at one. No, he headed again. Awesome. UHC deathmatch. It's just build UHC, but in a multiplayer arena with eight players. This game style is actually one of the more intense games in duels, and only a really good player can come out alive from the bloodbath. It's truly rewarding when you emerge after 4 or 5 fights victorious and drown in the number of gapples you've acquired. The only real complaint I have is the anti-clean system that Hypixel set up. Now I'll admit, janitoring is one of the lowest and most filthy actions a player can do, and it's good that Hypixel's addressed it. The problem is that when there is an odd number of players alive, one player has to go around and wait for a fight to finish, which can be boring and hilarious at the same time. Alright, I'm going in for this and I can't hit him. All right, he's he's fighting that guy. I guess I can't can't really hit him now. So um, I guess that guy I can fight, right? Yeah, I'll go after this guy, and uh, yeah, don't don't really know what I can do. I guess I'll fight this guy then. I guess the anti-clean system isn't that bad. I guess I do have some security in knowing that my loot or my kill won't be stolen by another. Wait, wait, hold on. He got that. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's my stuff. Wait, no, that's my stuff. No, he got that kill. How? The anti-clean system is garbage. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna lose this fight because he just got all that healing. What is this? Sky Wars Duels. It's just ranked Sky Wars without cleans or the toxicity of an ELO system. 
and now that I'm reading that sentence, Skywars Duels is like the best thing ever. What the hell? How have I not realized this before? Why the hell am I recording this video when I could be playing Skywars Duels? These duels can actually be a lot of fun to mess around with since you get access to every kit in every mode of Skywars, which opens up a lot of possibilities. All right, here's the game plan. We're gonna go Fisherman. And we're gonna get that knockback one on our rod, and we're gonna see if we can just uh, basically abuse knockback one in, in uh, rank sky wars. Basically, hey, 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 bye. Maybe uh, he did an MLG. Oh my god, that's perfect. Don't mind me, just drinking instant health and getting back all my hearts. Probably has healing as well. No, he doesn't. All right, hey bro, how's it going? You you didn't learn your lesson from last time, did you? It's over. Blitz duels. Take the fun of the Hunger Games to the arena in a one-on-one. -on -one. Blitz duels are really less of an actual duel for skill and more of a duel to test what level 10 in Blitz you want to buy since you get all of the kits in Blitz duels max for free. I really like this feature, but here's the truth. Blitz duels are not games of Blitz. Astronaut and Blitz duels may seem like a useless kit, but when you get thrown off of a building in real Blitz, all of a sudden, Night 10 doesn't seem as good as it was in that 1v1 you did. Mega Walls Duels. Take the fun of... Mega Walls into the arena? Mega Walls Duels are like Blitz Duels, since both don't reflect much of the actual game strategy. However, in Mega Walls' case, this actually makes it a lot more fun. Now, you might be wondering, Omicron, why would Mega Walls Duels be so much more fun than Blitz Duels? The 1v1 environment without any landforms just means that the ability abuse is even more satisfying. Also, Hero Brian is so fun to mess around with. Why the hell am I recording this video when I could be playing Mega OP Duels? The OP in the name doesn't really make any sense since the only real difference between it and UHC Duels is the speed pot that you get. And since the potion is speed 2, you can make one video recording, add some Alan Walker faded behind it, and the next thing you know, your amazing 3 hit combo is quality enough for your college resume. Like how good I am, guys! The Bridge Duels. The bridge was really popular in the prototype lobby, and I'm sure the admins wanted to put it into its own lobby. The only problem is that the bridge is a game simpler than Microsoft Minesweeper, so it had to go into the duels lobby. The bridge is also another one of those duels modes that can last between 30 seconds and an entire week just for one game, which means I can bridge duel fan on stream, and by the time it's over, my audience has already left and my YouTube channel has been terminated for lack of good content. But I guess if that was true, my channel would have already been deleted a long time ago, am I right, guys? <sighs> No, seriously, if you guys could please subscribe, I would love you for- Bow Duels. So maybe you like the competitiveness of duels, but you suck at clicking and your aim is trash. Well, not to worry, we've all been there. The Bow Duels are here so that that one guy that actively plays this mode for hours on end can make you realize how bad at bow you are. Bow Duels are actually really good to help improve your aim. Just don't try and use the Ender Pearls to pearl in close to your opponent. It almost never goes well. Bow Spleef Duels. So maybe you like the idea of Bow Duels, but your aim is trash. Well, not to worry, we've all been there. Honestly, Bow Spleef Duels is that one mode that everyone jokes about, and maybe the average person plays it once a month, but no one really grinds it. The premise of Bow Spleef seems simple enough, but if you're a new player, the right side of the screen by itself is probably more complicated than AP Physics. And trust me, I took that class, and there was nothing about repulsors or triple shot, or, or maybe there was. I didn't really pay attention that well in all honesty. Classic duels. These are probably the quickest duels guaranteed since there's no stupid healing and the PvP is actually quite simple. This is my favorite game mode to play, it's just that I seem to be the only one who actually plays it. Which sucks because that means that the queue time is more than double the amount of time for the actual duel. But then you queue once in the middle of the night on a weekday during the school year and you start to wonder if civilization ever existed. You begin to wonder, why am I here? What is the meaning of the universe? And how many more wins will I need before I reach the win streak leaderboards that no one will ever care about? No debuff duels. It's basically the opposite of classic duels because they take longer than the average human lifespan. Your inventory is filled with more healing than a hospital after a blood drive, and you realize that the only way you win no debuff is by having more patience than the other player, which by high pixel standards is not hard at all. Eventually you realize that one of you has to be sacrificed in order for the boredom to end and someone slash hubs. The victory screen is sweet, as if it were a reward for outlasting your opponent. 
but then you're auto queued into a new duel and yeah, the cycle repeats. Sumo duels. Have you ever wanted to get a hand cramp? Well then sumo might be for you. Enjoy battles that can last for two seconds or a minute and a half of straight clicking where the person who has a better connection 90% of the time ends up winning with some stupid double hit. Believe it or not, sumo does actually have a fair amount of strategy. You can strafe during a fight, head at your opponent straight on, or sneak when you're getting knocked back, which by the way, I'm starting to wonder if that actually does anything. I'm sure that someone in the comments is going to make some advanced scientific argument about why sneaking helps in sumo, but I would believe that shifting during a sumo duel is just some sort of sumo placebo effect or something ridiculous. Combo duels. Even more of a hand cramp than sumo is combo duels. This is where the 10 year olds who can voluntarily make wrist spasms truly shine, since combo duels have almost no limit on the number of attacks you can do per second. This is where jitter clicking truly matters and the age old question of how can I click faster becomes a true dilemma. When climbing the combo win streak leaderboards, you begin to wonder, should I PvP with my hands cold or warm? Will I click faster if I place my mouse here instead of here? Will I truly be banned if I download an auto clicker? And it's at this point you've gone too far into the realm of combo duels and it's time to switch back to a game of Mega Walls duels. So there you have it, a brief oversimplification of every mode of single player duels. There's also tournaments and team duels, but honestly you're better off skipping them since most of the time they hardly fill up or the game is over within 10 seconds. And you might be wondering, well Omicron, why is duels such an abyss if all the games seem pretty simple and toxicity free? The answer lies in stats and the daily and weekly leaderboards. It's so simple to load into a duel and see the leaderboard and think 19 wins in a row, psh, that seems pretty doable, I bet I could make those leaderboards. One thing leads to another and now it's 1 o'clock in the morning and you're smashing your keyboard, sniffing cocaine, getting heavily drunk, and maybe making a pact with the devil just to beat that one player on the leaderboards and so you can screenshot your useless achievement and post it on Twitter where no one will actually care. But in general, the simplicity and ease of duels makes it so easy to kill some time to practice some virtual skills that will have no influence on the real world. And maybe that's a good thing. Hypixel duels at its center is just so pure. You never really hear about toxicity and drama going on in the duels community because most of the time there's little to none. It's a safe haven from the problems of the real world or a clearing in the forest of addictive games. Maybe even a cornucopia of hopes and dreams, simple yet diverse and free from the problems a lot of other games today face. Duels is just bliss. Wait a minute. You can spend money on duels cosmetics. Like, real money. Like, you could blow a hundred dollars on getting a different name for your in-game sword. Um, well in case anyone wanted to buy me anything for my birthday, it's not too late, just go to the Hypixel store, click on Duel's Loot Chests, and enter an Omicron game.